You, you're eating candy you dropped on the ground? Hey, you know what they say, God made dirt, dirt won't hurt. I wonder if he knows arsenic is also completely natural. I think you should avoid telling him that. What does that sticker say, Avery? It says support U.S. families buy American only. What does that mean? Well, when you buy stuff that's made in America, all the money goes straight to starving people. But if you buy stuff that's made in other countries, they cackle evilly and set fire to the money. Gosh, how do you get so smart? You can learn a lot from bumper stickers, Tim. You lost the volleyball game for us in P.E. class today, you little snot. I ought to deck you. But my dad taught me never to hit girls. See? Sometimes being a stupid sexist jerk works against you. I'll continue to be awful at sports and lose games. And because of your misogynistic approach to violence, there's nothing you can do. Actually, for a Neanderthal, he's remarkably creative when it comes to forms of abuse that don't involve hitting. You're not going to do anything about the fact that Jeremy's beating me up? I'm afraid we can't, Millicent. Getting picked on is part of growing up. Jeremy's just being a red-blooded, rambunctious young boy. So sue him. Mom, remember those back allowances you owe me? You're serious about wanting to sue this bully at your school. And I want you to be my lawyer, Mom. I think you have a screw loose. Didn't you ever get beaten up in school? Actually, no. Back then we had chivalry so boys weren't allowed to hurt us. Of course, girl weren't allowed to talk much in class. And we had to wear skirts. Even in 20 degree weather. And, um, so how much do you think we should ask for? Maybe we could just make him wear a skirt. So mom agreed to represent me in court when I sued Jeremy for beating me up. I don't know, Millie. We live in a litigation happy society. People can break into houses. Then sue the homeowners for their injuries and win. Do you really want to add to that? Ozzy, remember that time last year when Jeremy dressed you up as Baby Spice and hung you from a goalpost, and the gym teacher just said it was a normal part of learning to be a man? So, are you going for the death penalty? Mom said we can't, but I'm holding out for the stocks. Good evening. Reporting for Cred News. I'm Barbara Walrus. I'm here at the county courthouse where today a local young girl is suing a school jock for pain, anguish, and acting like an egotistical boogerhead. Local schools, wary of further attacks by misfit students such as young Millie Mudd, quickly took decisive action to get at the problem's root cause. And from now on, we'll punish any troublemaker caught carrying a black legal briefcase. Well, this is it, Millie, our big day in court. I've seen you at work before. But this is way different. I'm just excited to be involved in the grown-up way of solving a problem. With discussion instead of threats and insults. Excuse me, counselor. I hope your client realizes that her reckless lawsuit could easily cause my client to give her several weeks worth of lunch time. Swirlies. Boy, is adulthood going to be disappointing for you? Counselor, we can do this my way. Or the big dumb stupid head way. Do you swear to tell the truth? The whole truth and nothing but the truth. So help you God, Millicent? Okay. I confess. I accidentally set fire to the curtains. And then I panicked and buried them in the backyard. You'll have to excuse my client. She's new at this. Well, right about now. Millie's out having her day in court. Ah, uh, yes, that's right. I do hope everything goes well for her. The schoolyard can be cruel and arbitrary. The fact that Millicent chose to entrust her case to the dignity of the court shows remarkable maturity and wisdom on her part. Miss Mudd, drenching the opposing attorney with a squirt gun during cross-examination is not good courtroom form.